Hello, my name is Tim Bridge and I work for AgriFarm Limited, one of the UK's leading insecticide manufacturers. AgriFarm has been making insecticides for over 35 years. We are based at High Wycombe and we have a factory in Telford in Shropshire. AgriFarm's policy of using environmentally friendly insecticides based on synthetic pyrethroids and natural pyrethrins has put us at the forefront of insecticide technology. Our products are safe to use around the house and home and are used by over a million people every year in the UK. AgriFarm has established a relationship with Hygiene Supplies Direct, the UK's leading online distributor of pest control products. If you've got a problem with bed bugs, then you'll need to treat it. Now, the treatment for bed bugs can be complicated, but can be very, very effective. And what you need is to know that when you've done the treatment, you're going to get rid of the problem that you've got. Now, bed bugs were practically wiped out from the UK in the latter part of the 20th century. However, with the relaxation of the borders of the UK and the movement of people in and out of this country, more and more bed bugs are becoming prevalent in our cities and towns. Bed bugs are a major problem. To treat them is fairly simple. What you do is this. First treatment is with Fortifog Mini or Midi Fumers. Now there's a choice of two types of fumers and depending on what size you're going to treat you'll determine what you're going to use. The Mini Fumer, each one will cover seven and a half cubic metres of space. The Midi Fumer will cover 25 cubic metres of space. So you measure your size of your room you want to treat. To do this, take the length times the breadth times the height, divide it by either 7.5 or 25, and that will give you the number of fumers you need to use in that room. So, when you've determined how many fumers you need to use, you then close the room, close all the windows, open all the cupboards and drawers, and place the fumers on a heat-resistant surface on the floor, such as a baking tray. When you've done this, you light the fumers and leave that room closed for at least two hours, ideally overnight. Now you don't have to seal the doors or anything like that, it's straightforward, close the door and that treatment's done. When you come back in the following day or two hours later, you open the windows and all the doors and leave them open for 45 minutes to aerate the room. This gives you plenty of fresh air in the room and gets rid of any smoke that's re uh, residual in there. The second part of the treatment is to spray all the soft furnishings, all the carpets and flooring areas with Protector C. You can, you can also spray the mattress and any other soft furnishings within the room. Now when you're spraying for bed bugs you need to pay particular attention to where they hide or harbour. Now bed bugs can be very difficult and they can hide in all sorts of different places. If you look behind headboards or if you've got a fabric headboard into the ruches and around buttons. On mattresses you need to look around the stitching on the braiding on the edge of the mattress or if there are any buttons on the mattresses. You need to look on the bed frame, on the divan in drawers, you need to look in places like uh, edges of skirting boards or if there's pictures on the walls or if you've got books on the sideboard or bedside tables these are all places where the insects can hide. If you've got bedside tables, turn them over. Always turn everything over you can and look on the frame and the underside of these carcasses because this is where a bed bug will hide. Now bed bugs are nocturnal animals. You don't see them in the day unless you're looking for them. And generally they will only come out once you're asleep. And the only time you know you've got bed bugs is when you wake up in the morning and you find you've got a bite mark on you that generally turns into a red bump. Now bed bugs don't transmit diseases. However, you can end up with a rash from the area where they've bitten because that can become infected as you scratch it. Now, when you've sprayed with a Protector C, there are a couple of point, important points to remember. Don't vacuum that carpet for at least 10 days because once the chemicals dry, vacuuming will lift off the chemical. You spray all the surfaces in the room as I've mentioned before, but don't spray where there's electrical fittings. So, what do you do with those? That's where the dusting powder comes in, called Residex P dusting powder. 
Now Resin XP is a long lasting residual dusting powder. So you can use it around electrical fittings and in light fittings, in uh, wall sockets and places like that. But also if you've got f um, wooden flooring, you can spray it in between the gaps on wooden flooring. You can spray it around um, the bottoms of wardrobes or in the bottom of a wardrobe um, into gaps under skirting boards and places like that. Um, once you've done all this, the treatment, of protects, the treatment for bed bugs is pretty much complete for about 10 days. But then you will need to redo this treatment and usually two or three times is enough to make sure you eradicate this pest problem completely from your home.